Man United fans were hoping for a response after that scrappy win against Watford at the weekend. And tonight we play Wolves and instead of a response, we saw something a whole lot worse. Man United losing 2-1 to Wolves at Molyneux. It could have been more. They cracked the bar at the end. But where do you really start with that performance? You start with a good first 20 minutes. That's what you start with. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer changed six players in that team. Some unforced dropped Matic, really switched up the midfield, brought McTominay and Fred in. And Man United for the opening 20 minutes up to, I suppose, McTominay's goal in a few minutes after were brilliant. Really good pressure, creating chances left, right and centre. And McTominay, who was by far and away man of the match, and we'll talk about him later on, he goes and gets the goal. And then United let Wolves into the game. Maybe Wolves weren't expecting United to set up in a 3-5-2, but we sat there, we had Delot and Young, fuck me, I'll talk about Young later as well, as our full-backs, but we looked good. And then Wolves got into it. And then Wolves equalised. And then Ashley Young decided to get himself sent off. And that was the moment that the game changed. Ashley Young, you are an idiot. And Ashley Young, I'm sorry that anybody who still feels he's good enough to play for Man United, tonight you saw... He is not good enough to start for us if we want to win anything next year. If we want to win anything, Young should not be starting at right back. All of his long balls up to Lukaku were absolute gash. He's mis- he, I think he was keeping, uh, who was it, Jota on side. He was behind Smalling for their goal. Gash. That second yellow, gash. He's utter gash. Sorry, Ash. It's true. He can't be playing for United anymore. And that completely changed the setup for the game for United because Scott McTominay, his position switched and he was the opposite of Gash. He was superb tonight for Manchester United. Both, in both positions that he played, in the start, when he was more attacking, great goal that he scored. Really good pressing. When we didn't have Rashford up there, we didn't have Martial up there. McTominay played far more advanced and he was great. When Ashley Young got sent off, he then sat as the pivot midfielder and he was good there as well. Very good. McTominay by far and away man of the match. But because Ashley Young decided to get himself sent off, it took McTominay away from our attack. And Lukaku had a very isolated game. He was poor. No runs in behind. No passes in behind. But that's because Paul Popper played poor. Again, another poor performance for a man who genuinely looks like he's got one foot in Real Madrid already. Paul Popper, man. If he's brilliant, he's the best in the world. If he's not, he's worse than Gash. He just lets his games pass him by and he shrugs his shoulders and he goes, and that's it. You don't want that from somebody who's supposed to be the leader in midfield. Tonight, that was McTominay. And Fred, aside from that abysmal first touch when De Gea passed it out to him, I thought he wasn't too bad. But United, just all over the shop, calamitous mistakes. From Fred's first touch there to Wolves' winner with a ball coming in. Smalling missing the header. Or was it Jones missing the header? Smalling handballing it. De Gea not coming and commanding that cross. And then it snuck over the line. And then we nearly scored two own goals at the end as well. I mean, tonight showed the two sides of Solskjaer and the United. The real intent was there from the start tonight. We were aggressive. We, went on the, we were hitting them hard and we were attacking, attacking, attacking and it got the goal that we deserved. But then when Wolves sort of figured us out, our defence was shaky. They were getting passes in behind. The midfield wasn't solid enough to hold that possession. And Wolves found it... Let's be honest, quite easy to score against us. And it wasn't a surprise that they won that game 2-1. But it shouldn't have been because Ashley Young decided to get himself sent off. And I'm going to put this at the feet of Young. Because I think United in that second half in the first 10 minutes again, we were attacking. We looked the bigger threat. But then as soon as Young went off, United had to switch the shape. And at that point... I wasn't really confident that United would do it because we didn't have Rashford in there. Martial, when he came on, it was clear that he wasn't fit still. He looked poor. Just everybody, apart from McTominay and Shaw, at points, looked poor tonight. And it just, look, it doesn't matter how many wicked performances we see between now and the end of the season from Smalling or Jones or Lindelof or Baye or Rojo or any centre-back. We need new fucking centre-backs. 
It doesn't matter how many good performances we see from McTominay or Fred or Pogba or Matic or anybody in midfield. We need a new dominant midfield signing. Somebody who can control a game like that and not let it get, not let it get away from United. We don't have that at the moment. And until we've got those two things, performances like tonight can always creep in. It was made a hell of a lot worse by Young getting sent off. But it wasn't that much better against Watford where we won. United now in the top four. Well, the momentum's away from us. And who's next? Oh, I don't know. How about Lionel Messi in Barcelona? What a way to go into playing the world's best player at Old Trafford in such a huge Champions League game. I don't know, man. There's so many questions to ask. Let me know what you think about that game in the comments below. But for me, McTominay is the only positive I can genuinely draw from that game. Jones and Smalling scare the shit out of me every time I see them play for United. And the fact that they've been given new deals ahead of Ander Herrera baffles me. Maybe it's because Herrera's asking for too much money. But that's just poor decision making. And it was poor decision making everywhere on the pitch tonight in that second half. And large parts of that first half as well. Let me know what you think about that game in the comments below. But it goes to show that no matter how good United are doing under Solskjaer, there's a lot of shit that needs to be sorted if we're going to get anywhere near Man City and Liverpool next season.